Alright, so we're in the Gruta Valley, and uh, make sure you have your sword. And from what we're going to do here is there's a little bit of a gap in the bridge from the last time we were here. There's nobody guarding it, but there's a gap in the bridge. So what we're going to do is uh, jump it with your horse. Once you do that, you want to get down, and you want to talk to this guy. And actually, I'm just going to give him the poacher stall, because it's his. He... Uh, is going to give it to you, you're going to give it to him, and he's going to give you his Biggeron tool, which is actually the Biggeron sword, so, but it's broken, of course. So what we have to do now, we have to go take it to Biggeron to uh, try to get it fixed. Now Biggeron is actually in uh, Death Mountain, so I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, Goron tunic on. We're going to play the Bolero Fire. I forgot how to play it for a second. But we're going to go to the Biggeron. We're going to go to Biggeron. And uh, this is like the fastest way I know how to get there. Um, you can't warp there later, but this is uh, one of the fastest ways to get there. So we'll need your hook shot. And basically you're going to kind of go the same way we went earlier but we're not gonna go through Goron City if we can help it I think we can I think we can do it without going through the Goron City I think technically we can get all the way up to where the Death Mountain Trail is yeah cause there's a ladder here Yeah, if you go right here, this will take you to where Biggeron is. Walk over here, and it'll stand up. And obviously, he is huge. You know, big Goron, obviously. Hand him the uh, broken Goron sword. He wants to fix it for you, but there was a volcanic eruption, so he can't see. So he's going to give it to give you a prescription to go see King Zora. Yes, we're going to go get the eye drops. Alright, so I don't need my uh, red tunic yet or anymore. I'm not going to put my green one back on. Alright, so from here, you guys know how to get to uh, King Zora. So I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys there because the next couple parts are going to be pretty long. So I'll see you guys there. Alright, so we're here at Zora's Domain, and what we need to do is we need to talk to King Zora and give him this little prescription letter. Um, from here, this is where we have to do the two consecutive runs without warping. So, hopefully you have Epona ready. Give him that, he's going to say he has the... He might say we have them, might say we don't. He has the ingredients. So... I'm going to take the ingredients to the doctor at the lake, and he's going to be able to make them for me, but we need to do them quickly. Can you make it before they spoil? Yes. There's the eyeball frog. And I believe we got three minutes to do this, and then four minutes to take the other one, so... It helps to roll. Uh, sometimes you can run backwards, but it takes a little bit of time to get, you know, wind up properly. So sometimes just rolling is your best bet. Hopefully you guys remember how to get to Lake Hylia. Um, if not, just remember it's the uh, southwest corner of your map. Usually I can get there with about 20 or 30 seconds to spare because remember, Epona can travel inside the lake. So And remember, when you're swimming, you can mash the B button to uh, swim faster, so. I 
And see, I, I left Epona over here somewhere. I thought. Oh, damn it. No, maybe not. I'll have to call her, I guess. Luckily, it doesn't take very long for Epona to find you. Come on, come on, come on, get on, get on. There you go. So then you want to hightail it to the lake. See, we got about a minute and 18 seconds. It's not too bad. Just make sure you hit those walls at full speed, or those gates at full speed so you can jump them and hit them head on too. There you go. So see, I've got like plenty of time to get there. I could walk the rest of the way if I wanted to, but you know, I'm already on my horse. So I'm not going to take the time to get down. I am going to leave her right about here. I'm going to try to make it to where it's a straight shot when I get off. That way I don't have to spend any time turning her around. So go inside the laboratory and you'll give the uh, weird scientist the uh, eyeball frogs. It always does that the first time. So He's going to talk about eating them. And well, you can't because we need them. He wants fried eyeballs. That's terrible. Police taking King Zora. No, for making bigger on eye drops. How disappointing. So he'll make them. And now we've got four minutes to get back to um, bigger on. So this is the uh, second to last step. So the last step is just to wait a couple days. So. Saying you're young, you could do it. The world's finest eye drops. Alright, like I said, we got four minutes. And you get like four minutes and two seconds because you get an extra couple seconds when the timer's moving. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and climb. Nope, come on, get back on there, Link. Come on. There we go. What are you doing? Horse is being pathetic right now. Alright. Hopefully, she can get over the uh, walls without causing much of a problem. Alright. So now we're going to head straight for Kakariko Village. And uh, the uh, fastest way that I know how to get there is. Uh, a lot quicker than, you know, it's not quicker than warping, of course, but it's uh, one of the quickest ways to get there from here. And you want to try to wait until right about the time the carrots are supposed to pop up, and she'll go about, about that fast, and then you can use all the carrots when you get really close to the end. And we're good. We've got about 2 minutes and 45 seconds left, so we're we're doing pretty good so far. And he always gets off on the other side. I hate that. And hopefully you guys planted the magic bean when you were a kid. Otherwise it'll be a lot more difficult. It's still possible because I used to do it that way all the time. But the uh, bean plant will take you pretty much all the way up the Death Mountain Crater. You just got to pay attention to where uh, it's starting to turn around and bolt off or else it's going to cost you a little bit of time but we've got right around two minutes so it shouldn't take us very long alright so we'll go ahead and step on this little plant and make sure you're careful and paying attention to where he decides to stop moving because 
right about there is where you want to go. So it'll take you pretty much most of the way. And we don't have to worry about all the boulders because that stops as soon as you beat Bulbagia. And we did that a little bit ago. Now we've got plenty of time, so I'm going to go ahead and take out these skull wall tolas. You can actually get there without them because if you stop moving, they won't be able to see you. They're kind of like the T-Rex on Jurassic Park. Motion detection, so... Go ahead and climb up, and you'll be good to go. Should be able to make it with plenty of time now, so... Alright, and get, uh, close enough to bigger on that you can give him the eye drops. He'll take them from you. And he'll use them, and he, uh, you actually get to hear him use them. And now you can see, thank God. He says his work is not very consistent, so we have to come back in a few days, but... Thankfully for us, we have the Sun Song. So we're going to go ahead and play it. I think it's three days. It might be four. So we're going to go ahead and play the Sun Song about six times. And this part's the most boring part, but it's we're almost done, so it's not really that bad. Um, I think the, uh, you know, the worst part about this is just having to wait, and if you don't have the sun song, that's what really sucks, because you have to actually wait the full three or four days, and that can be kind of boring. And so you can check after a couple days and see if he's ready, but he'll usually just tell you not yet, so just play again. Of course, you don't even see him work on it. You just see him standing there, looking at you, playing your ocarina, waiting for time to pass. We'll try it again, see if he's ready for it. There we go. Talk about the sword being his finest work. And now we have the bigger on sword. Um, the bigger on sword, like I said, was twi is twice as strong as the master sword. However, when you use it, you cannot use a shield. But, I mean, it is still pretty cool. I mean... Look at this. I mean, it's pretty big, you know. And, you know, the uh, magic attack for it's pretty pretty huge, so. Alright, well, that's it for this video. Um, when we get back, we're going to um, head to Lake Hylia and then to the Water Temple. So I'll see you guys later.